All right, let's shift our focus now. Russia is gaining momentum in its assault on Ukraine amid stalled Western aid. How will this play out on ground? What's the situation currently? Shivan gets you all the details. Over to you, Shivan. Him, ever since that deadly attack on Moscow, everyone was expecting the onslaught on Ukraine to increase even further. And that's exactly what we are seeing now. Now, in the latest, Ukrainian officials say that 19 people were wounded in Kharkiv in the latest strikes since Russia's full-scale invasion, some of which have caused blackouts as well. And Russia is gaining momentum in its assault on Ukraine amid stalled Western aid, making the coming months critical to the direction of conflict. And now, Moscow seems to be using a new flying bomb. Here's all you need to know about that. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky condemned the Kharkiv attack as Russian terror. Moscow's willingness to take territory in the face of the high casualties and a boost in output of artillery shells is in contrast with a lack of sustained Western supply of artillery ammunition to Kiev. Now, Volodymyr Tyomoshiko, head of a Kharkiv Regional Police, stated that Moscow may have used a new type of guided bomb, which he described as the UMPB D-30. Head of the Kharkiv Regional Police said, and I'm going to quote here, this is something between a guided aerial bomb, which they have used recently, and a missile. Now, it's a flying bomb, so to say, in a way. Now, Kharkiv Regional Governor Ole also suggested that Moscow may have used a new type of bomb. He said it seems that the Russians decided to test their modified bombs on the residents of the houses. Now, let's, let's take a closer look at Russia's new flying bomb, the UMPB D-30. The UMPB could be a method of adapting an unguided bomb into a precision munition with a degree of standoff range. As per the war zone, the UMPB appears to be a Russian effort to field a lower-cost standoff precision strike weapon. Now, such a weapon could provide the ability to strike targets surgically behind the front lines without having to use far more expensive and long-reaching weapons. Tactical standoff missiles in this class have seemingly been in relatively short supply as Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine drags on into the third year. One-way attack drones like the Shahid 136 are also better used for longer-range coordinated strikes and are more vulnerable to air defenses. It's also possible that the UMPB could be used in the decoy role, equipped with a radar reflector and possibly an expendable electronic warfare payload. This will help guide bombs and other munitions make it to their targets, as well as stimulate air defense so they can be targeted. Now, over the spring and summer, Russia is likely to mount attacks designed to inflict casualties and push defenders westward and expand control of occupied territories even further.